All right, good morning, everyone. My name is uh, Hans-Peter Pfister. I'm a professor in computer science and the director of the ICS, the Institute for Applied Computational Science in the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences here at Harvard. This is the culmination of Compute Fest for us, which is a two-week series of events of computational workshops and this symposium, and we had a computational challenge that you'll hear about shortly. So it's actually a very exciting time for us just before the beginning of the semester. And this is our fifth annual IACS symposium that I'm very happy to welcome you to. Today's th theme, as you know, is brain and machines, and I believe we have a fantastic program set up. Um, let me just uh, say very briefly that if you're interested in hearing about our events, in particular about Compute Fest and many similar events that we run throughout the year, please go to our website and sign up to our mailing list so you can stay informed. And if you want to join the conversation today on Twitter, please use this hashtag just so that we can find all the tweets. So um, I believe without further ado, it's my great pleasure to now introduce the Dean of the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, Frank Doyle. <clears throat> thank you, Hans-Peter, and, and thank you for your leadership of the Institute for Applied Computational Science. Um, as Hans-Peter mentioned, um, this is one of the most dynamic parts of our School of Engineering and Applied Science, C's for short. The um, fast-moving field of data science and, and the computational endeavors surrounding it, of course, are pervading um, society today, the impact on government, on society, and of course, today's theme, the impact on science, um, are omnipresent. You can read about this in the press everywhere. And what Hans-Peter and his team have done is assembled this amazing program in the IACS, the curricular program, that has both a one-year and a two-year master's program, weekly technical seminars, of course, the Compute Fest that uh, Hans-Peter also just mentioned. So today, my job is to announce the winners of the computational challenge problem. But before I do that, I want to sort of set the stage for um, why this is such an exciting moment for this symposium. So this symposium blends the worlds of computation and neuroscience. And at CES, we really have made a business of breaking down barriers and working seamlessly across vast and very disparate disciplines. In fact, you might say it's in our DNA to work across these different domains of science and engineering. So there's no better representation of this kind of transdisciplinary approach to research than David Cox's uh, work with the Connectome. Um, David's an assistant professor in molecular and cellular biology here at Harvard and also a professor of um, computer science. Um, his collaborators and colleagues that he works with characterize this uh, vast um, interdisciplinary field. Uh, Hans-Peter Pfister from computer science, uh, Jeff Lichtman from molecular and cellular biology, Ken Blum, the director of the Center for Brain Science here at Harvard, Ryan Adams, international expert in artificial intelligence, and a host of colleagues from MIT as well. It's exactly that kind of ambitious, groundbreaking kind of collaboration that's necessary to tackle the kind of grand challenges that society is facing today. So for the last several days, there have been a number of teams of students uh, braving the weather by working indoors here uh, on very uh, challenging uh, computational problems, namely the IACS computational challenge. This year's topic was using the Internet of Things for human flow analytics. So as most of you probably know, the movement of humans in buildings is being closely monitored by sensors these days. This has profound applications for things like climate control, for security, as well as for things like emergency evacuation. But as many of you know, these sensors have reliability issues. So there can be uh, data outages, there can be uh, sparsity in the records, and the reconstruction to uh, form complete records is, is a grand challenge. So this is how the competition worked. The participants were provided with highly incomplete data from sensor readings of human movement in a building. The challenge was to accurately predict the missing data by exploiting temporal patterns and spatial patterns of the humans moving through the building. So first, let me call up our three runners up. All of them are undergraduates in the Harvard College. Can I ask Kevin Eskichi, Alex Wong, and Matt Goldberg to come on up?
<clears throat> okay, and now we get to find out which team goes home with the Apple Watch on their wrist. Both of the winners are in the Masters of Computational Science and Engineering program. Please join me in congratulating Nicholas Drizard and Leonard Spiegelberg. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, Leonard's not here to attend the symposium, so I'll recognize Nicholas. Okay, now I'd like to turn things over to David Cox.